My name is Michael Bélanger. I'm Vice President Revenue and Distribution at GCP Hospitality based in Bangkok, Thailand. GCP Hospitality manages hotels across US, Europe, Asia Pacific, and my role is to optimize the revenues and commercial channels of our portfolio in Asia and Australia. Prior to this role, I've worked at hotel level in Montreal, Dubai, Singapore, and Hong Kong. It was therefore the first time I had to lead people and strategy across multiple regions and with a decentralized team. I was encouraged by my chief operating officer to get a more rounded experience by doing an MBA. As I completed my CEGEP in Montreal quite some time ago, but didn't actually do a baccalaureate, I was looking for a university that would recognize my years of experience as part of the admission process and also one that had fully online program as work required me to travel quite frequently. After looking at various universities in Singapore, Hong Kong and North America, I realized that most programs are hybrid and required time spent on campus, which was impossible for me to commit. After more research, I felt that UFRED's fully online executive MBA had the right curriculum and pace for me. Originally, I had signed up to take the business analytics leadership stream as my job involves a lot of data and forecast. However, halfway through my course, I figured that I should require uh, more complementary skills and knowledge and use this opportunity to learn things outside my area of expertise. The innovation leadership stream was recommended to me by a faculty member as I wanted to understand better the complexity of business structures. I found that innovation leadership was great for me to figure out how to start and optimize an enterprise, but also gave me strong foundation as a business leader. I was recently asked to lead a new business venture at work, so what I learned in innovation leadership is getting very handy. Otherwise, when I look back at the learning from my MBA, there isn't a single area that stands out, but rather what was most meaningful was to better understand the complex dynamics between various departments and concepts. What it has provided me with is a better appreciation for the work and challenges of colleagues in HR, finance, or operations with whom I didn't interact as much in the past. I've since taken a more active role in discussions about P&L, cash flow, and staffing, which has been of great help uh, as we looked at new ways of working during the pandemic. Throughout the program, I was the only student in my class who was outside of Canada. Because Bangkok is 12 hours ahead of Eastern time, it meant attending classes was always in the morning for me, right before work, and allowed me to attend with energy and fresh mind. It also meant that for group work, the scheduled team calls were either early morning or late night for me, which typically worked out just fine and my teammates were always very understanding of the time constraints. Being abroad mainly brought advantages, in particular during rush times of delivering projects and assignment. I could basically provide around-the-clock coverage with my teammates. As my day was starting here, they could hand over assignments to me before they'd go to bed so I could proofread or pick up where they left off and hand it back to them later. Bottom line is that, for me, it was the right decision to join you, Fred, despite the huge time difference, as I performed better by attending classes early morning than after a long day work. The main highlight for me was the innovation through entrepreneurship course in partnership with Dr. Jack Migruti at Columbia Business School's Venture for All. It was a very hands-on approach and the learning was easy to transfer to real-life business opportunities. I felt that his global experience was relatable to my challenges and his insights were always on point. Our project team was also great to work with, which made the class most enjoyable and meaningful. Beyond that, halfway through the program, I became the proud dad of a beautiful girl. She was born in South Korea, where my wife Kyung Kyun is from, and again, I was fortunate enough to be there for both of them and still continue my studies with Ufred while in Seoul. Although it's still too early to tell how my MBA will benefit me in the future, I feel that it's provided me with the right foundation to start and lead a business, and it's given me a broader mindset on how to capture opportunities and drive growth. In Asia, Canadian universities are also very well regarded, and I'm certain that my MBA from UFRED will further strengthen my profile. Another great advantage of UFRED's online program is that all the students come from a broad range of location, industries, and background. 
Unlike a traditional on-campus program, I've made connections with classmates across Canada. I really value this experience and new friends I've made, which wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Overall, the best advice I can give to other students is to take the EMD opportunities to explore industries and departments that are unfamiliar to you. A lot of my experience has been focused on hospitality and I'm glad that none of my projects were related to that field, as it enabled me to look at other ways of working. This is really something that we can achieve in a normal work environment, so getting out of my com comfort zone was great. One of my career goals is to share my experience and knowledge with others. I plan to pursue this goal in teaching hotel management at college or university level at some point, and I trust that my MBA will have provided me with excellent tools to do that.